Hey everyone, my name's Kristen and welcome to my cathedral garden. If you're new here, I'm a homeschooling mama to four kiddos. I have a fifth grader, a third grader, a first grader, and a four year old this year. And today I am talking all about how our family celebrates Thanksgiving. So come join me. If you have been around here or if you know me in real life, then you know Thanksgiving is my very favorite holiday of all the holidays. There are a few reasons for this. I love the story of the pilgrims coming to um, America for the first time and the journey that got them here. I live in Texas and really November is my favorite month out of the entire year because November is when Texas finally gets a clue and starts looking like fall. That's really when our leaves change and the weather turns cooler and all of those things. And then thirdly, I love just um, the way you have, we kind of end up having a Thanksgiving meal twice. We have it in th Thanksgiving and then we'll have kind of a similar type meal again at Christmas. And you're just with family eating really good comforting food but there's not really any pressure yet with presents and games and making sure you're here and there and everywhere. It's just a getting together and a celebrating and a thankfulness. And so that is why Thanksgiving is hands down my very favorite holiday out of all of them. So needless to say, we really like to celebrate Thanksgiving here. I am not a Thanksgiving skipper. I don't go straight from Halloween to Christmas we really make sure that we celebrate Thanksgiving in our home. And so today I'm gonna to share with you just how we do that. But before I go any further, I wanted to let you guys know that this is actually going to be a collaboration video that I am hosting. Like I said, I love Thanksgiving and I love celebrating it, but I also enjoy hearing about um, how other families celebrate their holidays. So I have opened this up and there are a few other mamas that have joined in today and will be posting videos on how they celebrate their Thanksgiving holidays and or the month of November. And I can't wait. I am so excited to see what all other families do and maybe get a few ideas to incorporate here. Since I am such a Thanksgiving lover of all the things, um, we keep our fall decorations up pretty much from the middle of September, maybe the end of September, till till around Thanksgiving. Now, as soon as Thanksgiving is done, I am all about putting up our Christmas tree and our Christmas decorations. I can't wait to get that out, but I do keep up my fall stuff just a little bit longer. And so I'm gonna show you us decorating for fall. I don't have a whole, whole lot that really transforms our house, but there are a few things that I do put out that say fall to us. My very favorite tradition that we do during the month of November is, of course, our blessing tree. I have a video that I made last year about our blessing tree, but I got it up kind of later in the season, so I wanted to be sure to get this one out now because if you want to do this, I wanted you to have ample time to gather supplies. This is so easy. Anyone can do it. In fact, you don't need the supplies that I'm going to show you. You can make your own or do this in a different way, but I encourage you to do something like this because it is the my favorite thing we do all year long. Guys, this is our blessing tree. We use this little tree that is pre-lit. It's actually a winter wonderland tree, I believe. I got it one year clearanced out after um, Christmas and it was maybe $14 or less then. Of course, these are available now at Hobby Lobby and at Walmart and at Target. You can go pick one up, but I definitely waited and got mine until later in the season once they were clearanced out, but they're not that expensive, even if you don't wait for a clearance item. So what we do with this is, since we don't put up our Christmas tree till right at Christmas time, 
this kind of scratches that twinkle light itch. It does light up and it is just um, a little special something as we wait for the Christmas season. And what we did with our blessing tree is I have found these little, they're place cards from Hobby Lobby. And I do pick these up every year. Uh, they are not that expensive. I believe $4 if you go and just buy them right now. I will say at the end of the season, I go and stock up because they are about 10 cents. And I'm always afraid that one day I'm gonna go and this year that they won't have it or that they'll change it and it won't be there. So I do every year kind of get five or six packages just in case. Uh, but these are really inexpensive. There are a lot of them in there. And what we will do is, let me open this up. We will take these leaves and at the end of the day, we all will gather around in our living room. We turn off all of our lights except for our little blessing tree. That's what we call it. And we turn on some soft classical. Normally it's like instrumental Christmas music because I mean, who doesn't love Christmas? But, um, and we will go around the room and each person will say a blessing that they are thankful for that day. So I will then write that down and they will be able to go and put it on the tree. And what's really neat to see is, you know, fall, the leaves are all there and then they fall down to the ground and the tree gets dead. But it's so fun to watch as we go on and as the month continues, this bare tree come to life and just be so incredibly full of blessings that there's almost nowhere to put different leaves at by the end of the month. Like I said, it's my favorite thing and it is something it is such an anchor for our family in such a great way before we head into the holiday season to just set my kids on the here and the now and be thankful for what they have because as you know Christmas is so fun for kids but it can kind of become a, a free for all with here do this and this is for you and oh we made this party for you and oh here are these gifts for you and it can just become quite a lot and so to ground them before we head into that holiday season is also something I just treasure. There are um, two different colors so I will alternate colors. There's this mustard gold and of course there is this um, orange and we will go through and write what we are thankful for and then um, I never really quite know what to do. I think one year I might just figure it all out and make a book, but normally at the end of the day, at the end of the month, I mean, um, I will gather all the leaves up when we're ready to put our blessing tree up for another year. And I get a zip, gallon Ziploc baggie and write the year on it. And that is what we are thankful for that year. I haven't really quite figured out what to do or how to keep these memories in a, in a way that is fun and you're able to look back on them so if you have any ideas definitely tell me in the comments below but i also just hate throwing them away so we've got to figure out something because we're getting quite a lot of gallons and block bags that i don't really know what to do with but this is by far and away the thing i look forward to most every single year it just it, it's just wonderful it really is and just that's that special time to sit down at the end of the day no matter what, and hate the five minutes to fill out your blessing tree, it's what we love. Another way we celebrate Thanksgiving is by watching the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special. Now, I believe there are two. There is one that is just about Thanksgiving and friends getting together, and I believe they all meet outside Snoopy's house or something like that. But there is another one that I found out about when I guess my oldest, who's 11 now, was maybe two or three. And it is part of a um, compilation of Charlie Brown episodes that talk about the founding of America. In fact, this one is the very first one and it's the story of the pilgrims and how they came across and all that happens then. And so I do not believe it is a lone episode any longer on Amazon. I actually bought this one episode originally and has and have since bought the entire series, but I did have to purchase it. But however, I think now you have to purchase the entire series, but it's well worth it. It is one thing that we begin watching at the beginning of the month of November and continue off and on all the way through. It's the thing that says Thanksgiving to my kids. They really enjoy it. They love Charlie Brown. 
And so I will set a link down in the description box below um, so you can go and find that and decide if that is worth it for your family. Another way we celebrate Thanksgiving is in my fall decor bucket. I keep uh, different activities for kids inside that as well, but these relate specifically to Thanksgiving. I believe I found these when my youngest was a, once again about three and I've added little bitty things here and there every year. Um, one of these obviously is a preschool pack that deals with Thanksgiving and so there's corn and there's um, Native Americans and there's pilgrims and there's different things that you can do, different activities that you can do with that. I also have gone and gotten different little jewels and tins frames that are pumpkins and stuff like that from the Dollar Tree or from Hobby Lobby. But I pull this out every year and just have kids play with it, have it kind of be a sensory bin of sorts or just an activity that goes in our warm up basket. But it's nice because I don't even have to think about it anymore. And it has lasted us through so many kids. I cannot believe it's now my youngest that will really be the one playing with these activities. That blows my mind. But we do have these things that I pull out only for the month of November and my kids love it. In fact, they kind of, when we begin to pull out our fall stuff, they start asking for these things then and I make them wait because that's half the fun and what makes these particular items special. Okay, I think that's it for how we celebrate Thanksgiving. If I end up adding anything in new this year, I will update that probably on Instagram stories. So if you are not familiar with me over on Instagram, my, um, my profile name is the same, My Cathedral Garden, and I like to talk and chat with y'all there on stories. So if I add in anything new, that is going to be where you can find it for this November. And also, if you haven't already done so, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. It really helps me out more than you know. And thank you to all of those that have done so already. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up because that lets me know what you guys are enjoying. All right, you guys, go out and have a great holiday season. <music>